Hey my friend, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can automate the process of parsing and reading an invoice to extract the data automatically using AI and also uploading that data into any system. So I'm going to show you the entire workflow and how I do that for logistics company, for accounting firms and any company that has to deal with this kind of document. Let's get started. So this is the workflow of the process to, of course, automatically parse new orders, new invoices, if you are a logistics or transportation company, okay? So basically this is how it is structured. It is how the process works. And of course, every automation that we build here, it's very custom built for all of our clients. So any step here can be, of course, customized, changed, removed, or we can even add additional steps here. But this is just a general workflow for this process as we have built this for many companies. So this is typically how it works, okay? So the trigger or the starting point of this process is every time you get a new order or you receive a new invoice, okay? And of course, that invoice can be a physical invoice or can be a digital invoice. If it's a physical invoice, there is one step, one additional step here, of course, to scan it or just take a picture of it and then upload it to the folder that we are using to trigger the automation, okay? If it's a digital invoice, then that invoice can be automatically uploaded to a Google Drive folder or it can be a SharePoint, OneDrive, any type of folder. Again, the folder is just a easy way to, to store all your invoices and also to trigger the automation. But we can even trigger this automation, for example, every, every time you get a new email with the invoice attached, then we can trigger the automation getting the, the document attached and we can parse that invoice okay so again this is just one example using the google drive folder so when there is a new document on the folder then we trigger the automation so basically we create before really of course start running this we have to create a model an ai model to be able to read the invoice and extract all the data that we need from that invoice and the data that we need is typically the same but it can change from one client to another okay but basically we need to get the customer information the vendor information including name address zip code etc the line items of the invoice so the description of the items quantity value of each item total amount taxes Okay, and also in most of the cases, the PO number of that invoice, which is really important. Okay, so we train that AI module, and then when we get a new invoice, we pass that invoice to the AI module so then we can get the output, which are the extracted data from that invoice. So basically, that's going to trigger the, the automation. We're going to extract all the data that, that we need using AI. And then we have some different conditions here. This is just one example, but if there is a PO number on the invoice, then we keep going with the automation. If there isn't a PO number, then we can notify, for example, the logistics team, okay? Because there, there needs to be a PO number on the invoice like on this example, okay? Then with the PO number, we're gonna find, we're gonna do a search on the TMS, on the TMS system to find that PO. So we using like API calls, we search for that PO number inside the TMS. And if the PO is found, then we upload the invoice data into the TMS connected to that PO, of course. If no PO is found on the TMS, then again, we notify the team, the internal team to check on, upon that data, okay? Again, here we are using AI, we are using API calls to make sure that we are not only getting the data, but we are uploading that data into the system. Into, in this case, as it's a logistics company, we are uploading the data into the TMS, but that data can be uploaded into a spreadsheet, can be uploaded into Airtable, can be uploaded into 
any kind of system that the company is using. Again, this is just a, a simple way to demonstrate how this process can work with this workflow. And this is like just the visual of the process. So we got the invoice here. It can be, again, a physical invoice. It can be a digital invoice. We're going to get the extracted data from the invoice that we need to get. And then, of course, we're going to train the AI model to look for the data that we need from that invoice. And then we're going to upload this extract, extracted data into the system, into the TMS, into the CRM, into the spreadsheet in any system. OK, that way, of course, this process saves a lot of time from the logistics company. Hope you like this workflow that I show you today using many different AI automation techniques to make sure that you are getting the data that you need from the document and uploading to the place that you need that data to go to. And of course, as I mentioned, this is just one example of the process, but everything can be 100% customized to your operation. So if you need help to do that, click on the link down below so we can get on a call and I can show you how we can do that for your own operations. Thank you.